That's a good one, guys. Peep is... Amazing <laughs> Rizzardal Circus. Yes, sir. <laughs> my, my, my best friend, Adam, is the Wizard of Oz. So right now, I'm going to dial Pomni, and you are going to Riz her up. Uh, skimmy uh, Riz, skimmy Riz, skimmy Riz, skimmy Riz. Here. And this is a follow-up to a video I released, I want to say, a week or two ago about Speed McQueen. Now, you might be wondering why I'm coming back to this dude. It's mainly because I want you guys to know my stance about this dude. Because ever since I uploaded this video on Speed McQueen, while, yeah, I did get really good reception from it, Thank you guys so much for the support. I've been getting swarmed by Speed McQueen fans just attacking me. And every time people try to counter argue my video, it ends up being a really bad point. So let's talk about Speed McQueen real quick. As always, be sure to subscribe because if I hit 32,000 subs by the end of this week, then I'll eat the most liked comment. Yeah, comment literally anything. If it's the most liked, then I'll eat it. That being said, make sure you follow my Instagram. I'm gonna start being more active on there real quick. Video sponsored by my Instagram, bro. Make sure you all follow. Of that. I'm gonna post some heat real soon, trust me. Alright, let's get back into it. So, the reason I don't like Speed McQueen is because not only is his sense of humor really bad, but it's also just straight up brain rot. Like, I think we are, we've are we already talked about this enough. Usually, if you're going to have an edgy sense of humor, you, you want to have an execution that's actually funny. And I feel like that's a point that a lot of people missed in my last video. Yeah, I could create like a clever joke that's a little bit edgy or funny, but I'm not just gonna be going around going, oh, uh, Black people, they love watermelon, right? Guys, laugh, laugh, it's funny. Funny because racist stereotypes. Maybe it would have been funny in like 2009, but quite frankly, we don't live in 2009 anymore. So let's go back to these Speed McQueen fans that just keep trying to counter argue my points. There's just so many of them to the point where I just have to make my own video about it. I mean, just look at this, sad. All right, so this video is sad apparently by GG Studios. All right. GG Studios, uh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna be frank with you, I don't think you get an opinion on this. I think of all people to be criticizing my content, I think you're the last one that gets the right to. Like, Jesus Christ. What even is your content? Remember that point I made in the Speed McQueen video where it's just like, if you got a big following over shorts or TikToks, then you're not famous. And I still stand with this statement. I mean, look at this. Whopper, 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 junior double <laughs> All right, we're, we're done here. I'm not I'm not talking about you anymore, bro Now you're jealous, bro. Jesus, you know, what? I'm here to agree to disagree, right? You know, maybe I am jealous that he has 3 million subscribers and I don't but other than that What else is there to be jealous about him just making the same three racist jokes over and over again? And I can't stress this enough like I'm not one of those babies that throw a fit over an edgy joke But if this is the punchline If it's just this exact same joke over and over again, then it gets annoying and repetitive. Like, this is exactly why I don't like Speed McQueen's content. Wow, another good YouTuber on the loose. Fantastic! It's not like he's jealous of someone's success or anything. Definitely not. What are you on about? Do I have to repeat myself? Yeah, I mean, it's impressive that he got 3 million subscribers, but he's just uploading brain rot. I can't stress this enough. It is so easy to get a huge following off of stuff like this. Literally anyone can do it. Matter of fact, if I really wanted to right now, here, I'll, I'll, I'll prove something to you guys real quick. This is my TikTok. Yes, I have a TikTok. The thing is, I'm extremely inactive with it. Matter of fact, the last time I uploaded on it was in February. Now, look at my views. They're very okay at the very most, right? I average like 2,000, 3,000 views per video, which are, which are okay, right? Now, keep in mind, I haven't uploaded since February. How do I have 11,000 followers? These are such okay views. Like, some videos don't even hit 1,000. How do I have 11,000? And followers on a social media I don't even use. It is so easy to get a following off of shorts, you have no idea. Well, if we're getting on the topic of jealousy, then yeah, I'll admit I'm jealous of Critical, right? I wish I could be just like Critical. I'm jealous of all of these YouTubers. I wish I could be just like these guys. Why would I be jealous off of Speed McQueen? All he does is upload brain rot racist jokes that don't even have a punchline other than, guys, this ethnicity does this stereotype laugh but hey i mean if it helps you sleep better at night then go ahead keep thinking that way i don't go to twitter because it's just people whining and complaining how about you get a better excuse huh i mean i mean am i wrong <laughs> like if i go on twitter right now i promise you someone's arguing about something so nitpicked ironic of me to say that of all people but th th that's not the point I, I i don't get this comment you're gonna have to elaborate zip 343 i'm pretty sure youtube shorts 
make the creators very little money. Yes, they do. YouTube Shorts creators actually make like pennies for every like thousand views. In order for it to actually be considered profitable, you have to be hitting like from like a hundred thousand to a million views per YouTube short, which which I'm pretty sure he does. I'm pretty sure he makes like a livable income, but it's still, yeah. I don't agree with the YouTube shorts won't make you YouTube famous. Cause first you say it's easy to get YouTube shorts views, but if that's the case, then everyone would be getting thousands of views on YouTube shorts every single day. But but they do. Do you not do you not see the irony here? They do. I've seen YouTube shorts of like an eight-year-old just picking up the camera, making like a stupid joke, and it hits like a hundred thousand views. Like, trust me, it's not that hard to get views. When it clearly isn't something you could pick up and master then and there. There is nothing to master though. You just make a stupid joke and you're suddenly like a million subscribers into YouTube. Like, there's some serious irony there. Second of all, you say because they have low returning rates for regular videos but that's just because people are there for the youtube shorts many creators consistently pull simply because their brand is relevant in the popular zeitgeist in that niche or because they have higher quality content than the others in the field no that's a lot of very fair points you make here but i think you're missing the point because i cannot stress this enough anyone can pick up youtube shorts and get a lot of views which is exactly my problem with speed mcqueen if i really wanted to right now i can just start posting racist jokes with no funny punchlines at all on youtube shorts and become famous like it like trust me and this is coming from another youtube content creator as someone who goes hard on dark humor. Speed McQueen is like baby's first racist or homophobic mean 90% of the time. He's edgy, but not like funny edgy. I do I do like some of his shorts where he gets creative, but like he doesn't really get creative most of the time. That's my problem. And that's my problem with like every YouTube shorts creator. It's not funny. Like I'm a broken record at this point, but it's literally just here's a race and here's a stereotype of that race. Laugh, like, and subscribe. Leave Speed McQueen alone. He's the dark humor go. Oh wow, the ratio does not go hard at all. He legit repeats the same joke over and over. First of all, I didn't ask for your option. Second, if I were to say the jokes I said to my friends, I would be banned off YouTube. Speed McQueen is the go, and you are just mad he makes offensive jokes that offend everyone. But his content is 10,000 times better than the brain rot of today's generation. What did I just read? No way I just read that as like a genuine sentence as a genuine counter argument. I can't stress this enough. No one cares about edgy jokes. You can have dark humor. All it cares about is the execution. That is my problem with Speed McQueen. Yeah, I'm literally just a broken record. I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna respond to this anymore. Like, I'm not even gonna try to counter argue this because I'm pretty sure this is like an eight year old. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> How did he ruin it? It's just humor. Too bad the people hating are a bunch of softies. I'm not expecting any more out of a Roblox profile picture. I think I made this exact same point in my last video. Shut up, bro. You're just jealous. Also, one word. Those are four words. The deeper into this comment section I go, I realize it's literally just kids. So I think I should probably stop arguing with kids. And I'm just gonna move on with my life, honestly. Speed McQueen, he's bag chasing. I'm not a fan of his content, but he's bag chasing. I'll give him props to where to do. And thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm gonna go, so see y'all. Boom!